good evening, my fellow Falklandians, micronationalists, and the greater international community as a whole. I bid you all merry tidings in this most festive season of ours. As the Gregorian year of 2019, Falklandian year 1999, draws to a triumphant closure, we must look back and reminisce on the past triumphs and failures of our great kingdom. We began the year as a simple dominion, a province, the Principality of Demanglia. And through the hard work, dedication, and perseverance of our people and our government, as well as our allies, we were not only able to gain full autonomy and independence, but also rise to a larger state to become the micronational superpower we are today. However, not as all good in the land. And as many of you may be aware, over the last few months, between July and December of 2019, the government of Falkland has shifted no more than three times. Governments have been made and just as quickly collapsed. Our flag has changed, our coat of arms has changed, and our geopolitical situation has changed. This can be traced back to the collapse of the OAM and our involvement with that though that is not of this press conference's concern. I'm coming before you tonight, wherever you are, and whatever time it may be, to issue a proclam proclamation and to deliver the message that I'm about to bequeath upon you. Falkland is in a state of national crisis. I've stated it before in my August 2019 address to the people. We are in a state of crisis. Our great nation is under threat and under siege by the powers that be. From our neighbors to the north, to foreign threats in Europe, to internal strife and political dissidence at home, we are not whole and we are not unified. Falkland has been my pet project since beginning it 12 years ago in February of 2007. Since then, I have worked tirelessly to ensure its longevity and success within the international community. However, I cannot do it alone, and it has come to my attention that the majority of Falklandian citizens have become inactive within our community. Therefore, it is my unfortunate duty to inform you that our nation cannot continue under these present circumstances. Now, what does this mean for Falkland? Are we going to dissolve? No. I have not now, nor will I, have any intention to dissolve the nation of Falkland, unless so prompted to by a vote or referendum by its people. However, things must change. I have my, no one but myself to blame for our current situation. I let my own position get a hold of me, and through that I lost track of what is really important. Falkland. Therefore, effective immediately, I hereby declare the dissolution of the Falklandian monarchy effective on December 31st, 2019. The Kingdom of Falkland will dissolve on that date. And on January 1st, 2019, at exactly midnight Falklandian Standard Time, on January 1st, 2000 of the Falklandian calendar, all land and assets of the Kingdom of Falkland and our close ally, the Grand Duchy of Navardia, shall unify into a single congruent, congruent condestined state, henceforth known as the Falkland Free State, or Falkland Bakistate. Its official language is called the English and Afrikaans, due to a majority English-speaking and Afrikaans-speaking population. We shall be one of the largest micronational nations in the world by pure land size, and this unification will add a great number of people to our population. The Falklandian Free State will remain with membership to the Alpian and within the Holy Roman Empire, as so graciously allowed by the Emperor, His Imperial Majesty. All treaties signed under Falkland and Navardia shall be upheld, and a government shall serve as a parliamentary republic. A prime minister shall be appointed by Parliament, after a successful vote of confidence by the people, the party with the most seats in Parliament shall have the Prime Minister. The 
The Parliament shall thus make ministers of the Cabinet, headed by this Prime Minister, who shall act as head of government. His duties will include managing all internal affairs of the state. And what of myself? What of the former Falklandian monarchy? This position shall be turned into the new position of State President of the Falklandian Free State. The State President will be a ceremonial head of state and will serve a yet undetermined term length as many wish to be served for life, while others wish for term limits. All it is known is upon the relinquish of command of the state president, they will have the right to choose their own successor. The state president will have final say and head over all foreign affairs, offensive matters, and treaties signed abroad. This shall all take effect on January 1st. I know this will be a massive change to many of you, and you might be wondering, why now do I choose to address you? Well, it is now in the incumbent position upon every man, woman, and child of the nation of Falkland and Navardia to work together in unity to achieve this great new state, to secure the longevity of ourselves and our posterity. This is what must be done. This is our last ditch effort to save Falkland. If this union fails, I cannot guarantee the continuation of the state. I also wish to say that to our allies, we will continue to hold our ties with you, and I ask our allies to support us during this transitional period. Until January 1st, Navardia and Falkland will continue to function as separate entities. However, from January 1st onward, they will operate as one conjoined state. Who will head the government and prime, and prime ministership upon the state? I have been selected by the Foundation and Council to act as interim state president until such elections can be held to decide the state president for life to begin the process. The Prime Minister will go to the Grand Duke of Navardia, whose title shall also be relinquished upon unification, who shall serve as Prime Minister Casper. He will head the government and is currently looking for ministers. Therefore, I beseech any individuals in the Falklandian government or Navardian governments or abroad who are interested in forming a position in this new state to contact us in the description of this video. We are open to all requests for government ministry positions and all offices are currently open. I thank you all for your attention during this matter of great importance and I hope this can serve to not deter our great citizenry but to inspire and to make full this great state. I thank you all for your attention and have a pleasant holiday season.